This is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew TV. And we're at West 25th Street Bookstore, you know, and the band's playing in the background. We'll get to them later. And uh, I want to interview Nancy. Nancy, what do you think about this event tonight? Well, it has a lot of positive potential. I hope that we raise a lot, a lot of money to support a good cause and that it, the money is used appropriately. Yeah, that's the question. Use appropriately. Is it going to go for fine dining? Is it going to go for trips? Or is it going to go really to help pay for people that's really going to make a difference in the community? That's the question, and that's a story that we'll get to later. You know, uh, what do you think about the transformation of uh, West 25th Street in the last 20 years? Well, I think the surface has changed, and I, but I think the neighborhood is still basically the same, whether people want to admit it or not. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say the whole night. They call it Ohio City or West 25th Street, and I still call it the hood. You know what I mean? You know, all the fine dining and shops and everything, that's all cool, but, you know, I just seen a homeless woman, uh, she was crying her heart out, you know, and it really affected me, you know? And uh, what do you think about that? I think it's a crime. I think homelessness is a crime, one of the most serious crimes in our society today. Yeah, I'd like to see a benefit uh, to help that poor woman and all these other people around this neighborhood, uh, you know, give them a little, you know, a little bit of love, you know. You know, I don't know how much love costs these days, but, you know, uh, I'm willing to chip in. What do you think about that? <laughs> I got plenty. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know. Well, hey, thank you very much. This is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew on West 25th Street. Some people call it House City, but I still call it the hood. Ma'am, uh, why, why are you here tonight? Tonight I'm here to showcase some of my custom hats. I'm a milliner and make custom hats, and also to participate in this event to raise money for the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center. How did you hear about this event? A very dear friend of mine always merchandises out of this space, so she called me up and asked me if I wanted to join in. Have you noticed a big crowd here tonight? There's been a great crowd. Everybody was really friendly and happy. I think it's really good for this community, too. You know, there's been a lot of gentrification in this area, a lot of new businesses coming in, and it's good to bring attention to the neighborhood and, and to show what's really going right in our communities. What do you think about people getting together and organizing and trying to make it a better world? I think that's what we need to do 24-7. Don't you, don't you agree? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, earlier, um, I tried to interview this poor homeless woman, you know, and the Cleveland cops, like, they pushed her away and everything. And, and I tried to talk to the Cleveland officers and everything, and they just uh, sent her to the Salvation Army. And it kind of, like, brought the contradiction of everybody's dining in nice buildings and everything, and this poor soul was out there who was just crying. You know, what do you think we could do to try to help that poor soul out? You know, I think that this kind of activity where a percentage of the proceeds goes to different charities, I think it's a good way to go, you know, to generate money. It's good for somebody like me who's a craftsperson just trying to get my stuff out there and make some money. But at the same time, if I can give something back, that's a really cool thing. So um, how long have you been involved in the arts uh, community? I have been doing my hats full time only for about maybe six or seven months, but I've been making hats for about four years or so. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you very much. This is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew TV. We're talking about the hip hop, the annual hip hop celebration to help raise funds for the Cleveland Rape Club. What are you here for tonight? I'm here to support the Rape Crisis Center. How did you hear about this event? A friend of mine was um, an artist at the Market 25 celebration, so she's an artist there and she was doing a bunch of artwork, so we came out to support her. Uh, what do you think about uh, the turnout on this event? I think it's been wonderful. We were at Touch for a while and there were a lot of people there, and um, I think that they raised a lot of money for the Rape Crisis Center, so I think they did a great job. Yeah, it seemed like everywhere I went, uh, it seemed like there was big crowds in almost every venue. What do you think about that? Oh, I agree. We we went to a bunch of the art galleries around town and a couple of the bars, and I think that a lot of people showed up. I think it's a great turnout for Cleveland. Yeah, we have to raise awareness about violence, and you know, we have to start respecting each other on this planet, because uh, if we don't, I don't think we're going to be in a good situation. What do you think about that, ma'am? Oh, I agree. I mean, there's way too many victims out there, and not many of them are being helped because most, most of the victims are poverty-stricken, and I think that a nonprofit organization like the Rape, Rape Crisis Center is much needed in every city, and not only Cleveland. 
Um, would you have any advice to anybody that's watching this broadcast to come forward and report their uh, crime to the, to the uh, proper authorities? Most definitely. If anybody is in any sort of a situation, I think they should definitely report it to anybody they can, even family members, friends, authorities, whomever. But there's there's centers out there for help, and that's why this whole situation was brought upon. They need to they need to go out and get help because it's a situation that can be helped. Well, I thank you very much for your time for Liberation Brew TV. We had a wild night tonight, interviewed a lot of people, went to a lot of different establishments, met a lot of artists, and met a, met a lot of people. But you know, the main thing that stuck out in my whole thing here was that woman across the street, that homeless woman. Everybody else is fine dining in the nice warm quarters, and that poor woman didn't even have a home. And that tells me there's something wrong with the empire. <laughs>